Greetings, YouTube. One of the things I love about this community, amongst many things, is that sometimes you hear from somebody and they're just on a crusade to prove to you that a new champion buff is undervalued, or maybe that a champion in general is undervalued. Shout out to my man, Captain Bay, who did an amazing job, if you haven't seen the video, check it out, of this with Silver Centurion, I believe it was this month. But uh, my man, Alk2, has made it his mission to prove why it was not a mistake for him to take OG Black Panther, OG Black Panther, to rank three. And especially because of how much he loves the critical hit numbers, those big yellow numbers on, of all things, light attacks. So he sent over this video to kind of showcase why he loves Black Panther. You can see he is indeed rank three. Has a real high PI. We're talking about 19,170 with that class advantage. You can see the bleeds. You can see he's uh, obviously taking some degen damage. But also, what is this? Uh... <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen a notification from a ring doorbell during an MCOC fight. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? All right. Wow. Here we go. So, you know, lost, what, 42% health. Solid numbers, nothing spectacular. Obviously not a clean fight, but uh, that gives you an idea, and he can just restart it, I guess. Take two on Ant-Man. He's determined to give us a better example than fight number one, apparently. He just wants a clean fight. I will say Ant-Man, you know, not the best defender, but can be a little tricky. But you can see the uh, six Furies, the seven, eight, ten Furies. Now nine Furies, back to ten Furies. Fires off that special to 84,000 damage. Okay, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's amazing. Is this like the new Realm of Legends Winter Soldier test? I've never seen somebody just refresh an Ant-Man fight like this, but all right, he showed us eighty-four thousand. Let's uh, let's see what uh, is technically fight number three or round number three of the same fight is probably a better way to put it. Now, my big complaint with OG Black Panther is just the intercepting skills it takes. I am not a great interceptor. Like you're seeing him do awesome jobs. With intercepting, and that's gotten him up to now the 11, 12, 13, 14 Furies. Let's see, does he break the 84,000? 24,000. Okay, it's crazy how it was 84,000, now it's 24,000. But you know, you can see 22,261 on the final crit of that. You can see his value. I just think it takes a certain skill level that I certainly don't have. But I, I, I do appreciate it. there are gonna be people every time you, you feature game player, I feature game player, I should say, not in second person, but first person. Uh, there are people who say, oh, this isn't perfect gameplay. Oh, big deal. But, you know, it is a big deal, especially if somebody has OG Black Panther as one of their best champions. you got to realize not everybody's been playing the game for five years and has the disposable income needed to open a ton of crystals and just rank up the best champions. And OG Black Panther is a buff champion, even though sometimes I can sort of almost feel like I forget that based off of how little I use him. Kind of like Yellow Jacket to me, for example. 27,000 crit. 43,000, 50,000. That was almost 100,000 in crit damage between those two. A very interesting way to showcase OG Black Panther. I'm not sure it's the best way, but it is a way. And let's see if we can get to that. There we go. There's the thumbnail. 84,394. He loves his rank three OG Black Panther. And I'm sure there will be people in the comments who say, well, I don't. Well, good for you. But I like to see the uh, the potential. You see the 13 Furies, 84,394. That is, that's high damage. That, that reminds me of like Ghost, for example. So, 
Uh, Mr. Alk2, thank you for the gameplay commentary submission. I am always honored to feature unique gameplay and just different things. I, I love, lately I've been working with Summoners behind the scenes to develop kind of a new tier list, which I haven't done in three years, to do a uh, spe specified buffs to, to come up with ideas to make trash champions maybe god tier or at least demigod tier. So all of that's to say, like, it's just fun to do something different. Crystal opening commentaries are nice. Forum posts are nice. My own crystal openings are nice. But content can easily get stale on YouTube. So stuff like this, it's different. It's interesting. Sometimes it rubs people the wrong way. But for me, it gets somebody out there who uh, likes to use a champion that somebody else may have and maybe hasn't thought about. So that's a win in my book. Thanks for watching. And thanks again to Alk2 for the submission.